implants are one of, if not the biggest game changers in EVE Echoes. And when they were released about a month ago, we really had very little information on them. But because I love you guys so much, I have spent thousands and thousands of my own dollars to test out how implants work and bring them to you. You're welcome. I'm completely joking, I don't have thousands of dollars to spend. What I do have though is access to the test server and so I wanted to go through and show you guys how you can get implants, how you can upgrade implants, and how you use them so that you guys can start making decisions about how you wanna skill into these because they're not cheap and they're not common. And so I don't want anybody to make a mistake as you start to build out this very important part of your pilot's arsenal. So with that being said, let's undock and get started. Now, the first thing that you need to know about implants is that you can basically get them one of three ways at the current moment. The first is going to be by running the dormant realm, getting a box, opening that box and getting lucky enough to find an implant. Now, when I say lucky enough, I mean you have to be extremely lucky. I went ahead and opened a hundred of the premium tier seven boxes and a hundred of the tier 10 boxes, again, premium loot, to try to see how many implants I would get. Unfortunately, it was not a good ratio. I got a couple of experimentals and two basics, fortunately one of which was one of the ones that I wanted, the automatic defense, so I was able to get out of 200 boxes about six actual implants. Not a great ratio. That brings us to the second area, or the second way that you can get them, and that's going to be through actually crafting. Again, this is going to be one that you can get the materials by running Dormant Realm, opening boxes, so on and so forth, but again, you've got to be really, really lucky. In fact, it takes almost 60 of the specific uh, charges or whatever they call them to be able to get a blueprint for a specific standard implant. That's gonna be the purple ones. Now, again, on my 200 boxes that I opened, I got one of the ones I needed. So it's really rare and they're really expensive on the market. So to try to have enough of those to even run an opportunity to get a blueprint, never mind some of the materials and the breeze and other things like that, again, it's not very likely. Now, to put all this into perspective of how rare and how difficult this actually is to get, in order for you to get 100 boxes, at the current way that this is set up, if I want the automatic defense upgrade, I have to be running one of two of the dormant realms. It means I can get a maximum of six of those particular boxes containing those implants each week. If I want 100 boxes, I have to run 16 and a half weeks, almost basically 17 weeks worth of dormant realm, getting the maximum box every single time to even get half of the boxes that I opened here on the test server. I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't really seem like a good return on investment, especially when you consider that that doesn't even guarantee you that you're actually getting the implant that you want. Oof. Now that brings us to the last way that you can get implants, and that is going to be by purchasing them with real money. And this is where I have, I think the biggest issue with these implants, and that is that it does feel a little pay to win because again, I technically can get it for free but the drop rates and the odds of getting them are so incredibly minuscule, you kind of have to hit the lottery in order to be able to actually get what you want. You flip that around, I can pay a hundred bucks, I can get the max, uh, max implant at a level 45, the orange ones, and I might as well just go get a job at Starbucks, work two or three shifts, if even that, and buy all the implants that I want. Again, I don't know that that's necessarily the best way that the game should be designed. I think they should be a little bit more uh, accessible for most players, but it is what it is at this point. Now, in terms of actually upgrading the implants once you get them, it is pretty straightforward with a couple of little nuances that I wanna make sure that you guys are aware of. The first is that when you actually go into the implants, uh, you can see that you go to the development. You do have to make sure that you, are f you have fitted the implant to your clone. Um, this will make it so that it is locked to you. You cannot unfit these, so be very aware and very careful. Again, back to that idea of making sure that you're using the right implants and thinking about how you wanna set these up. Make sure that you're putting those together so that you are putting the right clones with the right skills and the right ships onto the right implants, or the right implants onto the clones. You get what I'm saying, it's fine. 
Now, once you do this, you can go in, you hit the development button. You are able to start applying the neuro compilers to each of the implants that you have. Now, the biggest thing that you need to be aware of here is when you're using the neuro compilers, you want to start with the lowest number that you have first. The reason is that if we look at the uh, crawler first, um, it is only available up to level 10. So you have to use that one first to get yourself up to level 10 and save the other ones for the higher levels. If you use a level 45 one, the Ascension, then you've basically wasted some of your other ones because you can't actually use those. So if you're going to be doing this, I would highly recommend that you use as many of those. You actually max those out, whether you have to buy them or craft them or do whatever else. Use those first because you can't use anything else past that point. You can't use the crawlers past to like level 11. So again, as you're leveling this up, make sure that you're leveling those first. Now, the second thing to be aware of is that when you are starting to hit different tiers, level 10, level 15, for example, you can add in some of these other basic implant upgrades. Now, this again is going to be a little bit more of a nuance for how you play, how you want to get this set up. If you have maybe a carrier, maybe you're wanting to put all of these onto like damage mods or something like that because you're primarily going to be ratting out where you're not getting hit or maybe if you've got like a dreadnought you want to put these more into the extenders the boosters things like that either way just be aware as you're kind of looking at these they do go up in number or up in level so you've got you know level one being the weakest level 10 being the highest the last thing i want you guys to know about upgrading implants is that if you have the uh, implant as a basic or an experimental the highest that you can go to on that implant is going to be level 10 or level 15 or 25 whatever it is now if you want to go up to another implant you're going to have to buy that next one up and actually fit that one now fortunately you're not going to lose the progress that you had at least i haven't knock on wood but you are not going to be able to get past that ceiling and actually into some of those other ones without buying a new one so you can't take a core or you can't take an implant and just throw enough uh, of the compilers at it and be able to get up to a better implant again it's kind of frustrating and it means that you're not uh, able to get to all of the abilities that you might want but it does at least give you some uh, some way to to see some of these options the other thing is just because you activate a implant does not mean that you are at that level already. So if you have one of the advanced implants that has level 45, you still have to go all 45 levels up and upgrade that thing throughout. So just because you're buying a level 45 implant, that's the ceiling of the implant, not the actual level it's going to be at when you fit it. Okay, cool. Now, in terms of the actual use of the implants themselves, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it applies very similar to the modules. You have a little icon here on the right hand side of your health bar. You hit that um, and depending on the effects of the implant, it'll either preload. So again, if I've got the automatic defense, it's gonna preload those that when I send those drones out next time, it will take effect or it's going to uh, have an immediate effect and you may have to have a target already like the micro uh, disruption that comes with, again, this advanced automatic defense uh, implant. Now for each of these, uh, there are also ones that switch the type of uh, munitions that you're using or apply different effects to your target as you are hitting them. Again, it, just be familiar with the, the specific implant that you have so that you can make sure that you're using that to time it in the best possible way. Now, as you use the implants, the durability will go down. That durability is going to be the little wrench icon that you can actually see uh, both on the implant fitting screen as well as the uh, development screen itself. When you click on that, it's going to give you the option to use the neuroactive supplements, and those will then increase the durability again so that you can get that back up to 100. How do you get the neuroactive supplements? Well, you can either buy them off the market or you can reprocess the neurons, uh, the quantum neurons that you are given and be able to get them that way. If you do this again, make sure you're using somebody with max process, max reprocessing skills so that you're getting the most out of those because again, they're not cheap. But that's really it for implants, guys. If you are interested in me doing a more detailed video on some of the specific implants, let me know down in the comments below. 
I'm still getting to kind of play around with these a little bit. I haven't decided if I'm gonna buy one of these or not, but you guys let me know down in the comments below what you think of these implants. Are they a good change to the game? Are they not? And hopefully as we're able to play around with them a little bit more, people will get to kind of get a little bit more access to them. I do hope the devs open them up a little bit more because as of right now, it feels very pay to win and I just don't know how I feel about that. Either way, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week or weekend whenever you're watching this. If you enjoy this type of content, as always, make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, though, thanks so much for joining. Fly safe, and remember, Kill March lasts forever. Have a good one, y'all.